The first official image from the upcoming Warner Bros. film, The Nice Guys, has just hit the web. Directed by Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and Iron Man 3, director Shane Black, the film stars Ryan Gosling as a down-in-his-luck private detective and Russell Crowe as a hired muscle who have to team up to solve the case of a missing girl and a seemingly unrelated death of a porn star, an investigation that leads them to uncover far-reaching conspiracy of corruption. In an er interview with our own Collider.com, Gosling described the project like this. It's Shane Black. He's a world unto himself. His world is so funny and crazy. I had such a great time. Russell Crowe is so funny in the movie. I can't wait for people to see what... I can't wait for people to see that in his movie. It's not a side of himself that he shows very often, but he's hysterical. John, buy or sell what you're seeing and hearing from the nice guys. Buy, buy, buy huge. First of all, if you have not seen Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, you've got to treat yourself. You want to know how really... Uh, Robert Downey Jr. got the role of Iron Man. It was because of Shane Black and what he was able to do with him in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I think that was like the trump card that gave the studio some confidence that, okay, maybe this guy John Favreau wants can Was work. it Gothica? <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> who knew? Um, so bringing Shane Black, I and look, Iron Man 3 is not my favorite Marvel film, but I really like what Shane Black did with it. It was a little bit of a different thing than what they've done in a lot of Marvel films, so I appreciate the sensibilities he's brought to it. This movie just sounds awesome. And I still believe that if you take Daniel Day-Lewis out of the equation, I still think Russell Crowe is the best actor on the planet. So see him get in a film like this. It's got a little bit of L.A. Confidential feel to it, though. But yeah. this picture is just... I love this picture. I think this looks great. I think the premise sounds great. This whole mystery noir set in like the 70s thing is great. Made with Shane Black directing it. These two guys in it. I can't be more excited for this movie. For me, it's a big buy. Christian? It's a huge buy for me. When I when I worked at Silver Pictures, the first movie that I got to work on and go was Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Nice. And I and I the studio didn't support it at all. It was it found its life through people watching it like on DVD and Blu-ray and and watching the brilliance of what Shane Black can do when he's in his world and to hear the comments of Ryan Gosling going, it's so crazy to be in Shane Black's world. This is what you want from Shane Black. Because look, whatever you think about Iron Man 3, right? As a Marvel Cinematic Universe fan, I understand where people were pissed off about that movie. I get it in that one sense. But if you look at it as a Shane Black movie, it's a Shane Black movie. Now, whether or not it, it deserves to be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's another argument altogether. But when he does movies like this, when he does movies to where it's just his uh, his creation, characters. When you when you hear Ryan Gosling say you never seen Ryan, Russell Crowe like this, sometimes you just hear actors say that. Well, you never seen uh, you know Paulie Shore like this. You always see Paulie Shore that way. This way, <laughs> you I believe it. I hear I hear the words coming out of his mouth because I know what the script can do. He's one of the most brilliant writers, different writers. Huge buy. I can't wait to see this movie. Mark? Yeah, it's a buy for me, too. I mean, it's a long drop-off to talk from one of the most anticipated trailers of all time to a picture of a movie, but this thing looks great. This image yeah. that we saw, because it looks like Russell Crowe might be starting to adopt that later in his career Robert De Niro kind of thing, where I've been this tough guy, this mob boss, for so long, now I'm going to be in a comedy and it's going to blow people away. Same thing with Russell Crowe, is that tough guys can be funny. This looks a little bit like the other guys to me. Maybe a more serious version or a better storyline, but it looks like it's going to be a, a very funny movie. I, myself, in reference to your question earlier and your praise, I have not seen Kiss Kiss. Oh, man. Oh, you treat see yourself. I've seen Kiss. <laughs> I've seen Kiss yeah. many times. They kicked ass. And bang. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.